everybody. My name is Colt here at MK Livestock and just started off a little bit, tell you a little bit about what I'm doing and kind of why I'm starting all this is me and my wife have recently bought 25 acres out here and there's a lot of work to be done. I told myself I'd never buy land that was completely bare and I had to start fresh, but here we are and we're doing it and the good thing about it is I get to make it the way I want it. So I'm gonna take you on a journey. We got a lot of things going on. I've already fenced a couple fields, so we kind of missed out on that, but we've got some cow waters that are gonna go in here this weekend soon. We've got a barn that's getting ready to be built. We've got a house that's hopefully gonna start getting built if we can figure out what's going on with lumber. As everyone's probably aware, lumber prices are sky high and it's kind of put things in a pickle, but hopefully to get it figured out. So, just here we go. I'm gonna take them today. I'm gonna be measuring out for my hoop barn, uh, measuring out where the posts need to go, and we're gonna hopefully get those dug and get some posts laid in and get a hoop barn built so we can at least uh, get that set up and have some cattle over here. So. Alright guys, so we're getting ready to, or I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm going to stake out and paint where I got to dig each post hole. Um, getting ready to try to put this hoop barn up uh, here in probably next week, I think. Um, but I want to try and get all the posts um, set and concreted and everything this weekend, so... I'm gonna go ahead and set two posts on each end. I'm gonna try to do like a 12 foot, 12 by 12 foot door. Um, just something that way I can close each end off and, uh, you know, kind of have it like that. My dog's choking on something. I don't know what she's doing. Anyhow, um, so yeah, so that's what we're getting ready to get into. Um, so I'm gonna set you up and kind of give you, give you show what I'm doing I'm just gonna try and just gonna try and paint them out that way tomorrow when I come over here I can uh, it won't take me as long I, I've got some hay I'm gonna try to bail tomorrow I was hoping I could bail today but I called dad and he said it wasn't quite ready so but borrowing the father-in-law skits here this weekend so I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can got some waters I'm gonna try to get the pads for them all you know scraped up and leveled out some fabric and rock thrown on so but yeah so here we go all right so got that all measured out i think i got my measured it about 10 times because i always seem to somehow not measure enough and cut too much so make sure i measured it a bunch of times because i don't want to mess this up I'm building this myself so i definitely want it to last and want it to look good so got my four corners where I'm building a, a 32 by 72 hoop barn and I know a lot of people you know around here they use their hoop barns for you know cat, uh, hay storage which I'd love to have another one but I'm gonna be using mine for cattle for right now I'm gonna have it set up with five stalls in it uh, for show cattle and anything that needs to come in calf you know sick calf or something or gets hurt or something like that so we're gonna have five stalls in it and then i'm gonna have my chute and alleyway um i'm gonna build a pen on the outside here um to run stuff in and that's where my third tire water is gonna go um is in that pen that's gonna feed the pen and it's gonna feed the cow field out here so flip around here i don't know so yeah so pen back there the water that's gonna feed the pen and that field so yeah so now I've got all four corners marked out flagged out measured them both ways 32 foot 72 foot and crossways corner to corner make sure everything's nice and square so now I'm gonna just throw some paint down on each corner in case the flags get moved and uh, yeah, then I'll start uh, measuring out and painting uh, for all my side posts every six foot and the ones for my door. So let's get to it.
right guys, I'm gonna drive up through here and kind of just give you a quick tour of the place. I'm just gonna drive down the driveway, kind of show you these two fields we got laid out. See what you think. So, if you can see there, that is where my water is going to go for this field. This is what I'm calling the bull field. Not super big, but enough to keep a couple head in here. And then, oh, over here, we've got another one going in for the heifer field. So, a little bit bigger field. Um, and like I said, I'm going to get a, a cut in hay off of this. Um, before anything comes over here so so yeah looking forward to putting these in and getting that done hopefully soon so that's the next project um, gonna try to hit that this weekend um, that and digging the holes and putting posts in and do all that I don't know I don't know what's gonna come um, as far as the next video, it might just be putting these waters in and the, might be all I get done and the barn post have to be a different one or something, or I might get them both done and just kind of split it up into a couple of videos. I don't want to make these super long, but I do want to, uh, make them worth watching. So, so yeah, so that's all about, that's about all I got today. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to go and, um. Check out the hay, see how that's coming along. Put some free on in my tractor, put some fuel in my tractor, and um, throw a little air in the tires. I greased it up yesterday, greased the beller yesterday, put some flu hydraulic fluid in the tractor. Just got done driving a bunch of posts for a fence job I did. No, I'm not interested in doing any more fence jobs. <laughs> I was helping a buddy out who's actually been letting me borrow their fence driver, so, um, got that done, and, and so, yeah, so, thanks for watching, if you like what you see, if you're excited for what's to come, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.